James Dean and Steve McQueen were close friends of yours. Yes. Right? How is it when, how is it f for you when close friends become icons and legends? I mean, you get this whole outside point of view on James Dean. Well, Jimmy's frozen in time. I mean, I, if I go to Prague, I see a T-shirt with Jimmy's picture on it. I see a, uh, a full-length uh, cut-out cardboard in front of a, a shop, uh, Jimmy in a, in a red jacket with a cigarette forever without a cause. He's frozen. I mean, we were the same age. I mean, it's, it's, uh, he, he died over half a century ago. Uh, because of the impact of what he, he came along, Elvis, and he came along at a time when, when young Americans after the war were, uh, there was a great deal of unrest in teenage young men, early 20s. Up until then, the grown-ups, adults, set the styles, music, suddenly began to change. Jimmy epitomized that change. He, was, he looked like the boy next door, but he wasn't. Or he did 20-some television shows in which he played a rebel, a guy wanting to break out. And the three film roles that he did, only three, same thing. The two Broadway plays he did, same thing. So he expressed what was going on inside of every young American's heart. Elvis was the first white man to sing black music. Black singers couldn't get played on white stations in America. Elvis did. Brought a different thrust to the music. And then uh, Otis Redding wrote Dock of the Bay because all, all of his songs previous to that he wrote Dock of the Bay da, 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 for a white audience. And it was the first time a black artist played on white stations in America. So th there was a time in our history when Elvis and Jimmy and, and blacks were asserting themselves. It was, it was a, a, a cultural revolution happening. And Jimmy and Marlon and Monty Clift, all studio members, uh, change things. So the impact of the Actors Studio has been enormous. Did you feel at the time that this was something revolutionary? Well, I did, because I'm, Jimmy was my best friend and we were aware of what was happening. We were, I don't know if anyone else was. I mean, I, I mean what I'm saying to you is not only retrospective, but, but of the time. I mean, I, I was aware that Jimmy was a new kind of actor in that age range. He wasn't Mickey Rooney, he was Jimmy Dean. Uh, and Marlon was... Jimmy, at that point in the first film, in East of Eden, was a boy. Even though he was 23 years old. And Rebel, he played a high school boy and he was close to 24, he died when he was 24. And you have to realize, I mean, in a short period of time, he did two plays on Broadway, a couple of off-Broadway plays, 20-some live television shows and three motion pictures, and he died at 24. I mean, he, uh, shoo, it's pressure cooker.